Honey, I'm home. I got to come home early. <laughs> Surprise! I've missed you so- mm. <laughs> Well, I've missed you too, then. <laughs> Looks like you missed me a lot, huh? <laughs> Come here. Hmm. I've missed your hugs so much, honey. You have no idea. It's just been so hard. I need my daily dose of you. And if I don't get that, then I go a little stir-crazy. Oh, uh, they uh, decided that they didn't need uh, me anymore. Uh, me and the other heroes were more than capable of handing it. I am kind of more of a rescue hero, though. So combat isn't really my specialty. Oh, and I also got you something too. Uh, you need to, you're gonna need to close your eyes though. <laughs> no, it's nothing bad. Just close your eyes, honey. Come on, please. All right. You can open them now. <laughs> hey, don't start crying already. I haven't even done the thing yet. Come on. <laughs> Are you okay now? Can I can I at least give my speech? <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, listener, when I first met you in UA when we were first years, I well, you were the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. You outshined everybody. Not just the women, but the guys also. Not just in looks, but uh and working, too. Your hard work always paid off, and you always wanted to improve. And I loved that about you. And, well, I love the fact that you got so focused. You had such a cute face whenever you focused on your homework or something. Your face would crinkle up. You would stick your tongue out a little when you were really focused. Even when you were training. Especially against Bakugo, you really always had a concentration face. Um, and, well, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when I first asked you out, uh, our first year, it, it was very nerve-wracking. I didn't actually think that you would say yes. I thought you would, I don't know, like someone like Hiroshima or Bakugo. But when you told me you felt the same, I was ecstatic. And I couldn't be happier. You know, skip ahead. Two years and uh, here we are. On my knee asking you to marry me. So, uh, will you marry me? Me and more. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let me stand up first before you jump on me, at least. <laughs> I'm fine. You just knocked the wind out of me a bit. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> Let's get this ring on your finger. Oh, that looks perfect on you. I knew it would. How long have I been wanting to do this? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm a hopeless romantic, so... I actually wanted to marry you when I first met you. I know that's a little creepy or something, but, uh, I don't mean it that way. It just, that's how much you've meant to me. And how much I really could see a future with you. Now that we're gonna get married, next stop are kids, right? <laughs> Having little yous or me running around, listener. Oh, that'd be so awesome, honey. But that's way in the future. Now, can I get up now? <laughs> Ah. ah, well, that's a lot off my chest. I've been uh, waiting to ask you for a while. I've had the ring, I just... I just couldn't wait to get back. Yeah, I've had that speech planned out better in my head, but I got a little nervous and I didn't really know what to say. Oh, well, what did you want to say to me? Usually that's not how this goes. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna make me cry. What do you mean you got something for me? 
Oh, a necklace? Aw, honey, you shouldn't have. What's this for? Uh, oh my, you're gonna make me cry. I love you too. But you didn't have to get me anything. All right, all right, I'll just put it on. <laughs> That's really cute. A little locket. <laughs> Has some pictures of us in it. That's so cute. Thank you, honey. I, I really appreciate it. <laughs> well, not at all. That's out of the way. I'm starving. I haven't actually eaten. Are you hungry? I can make us something. Yeah, yes, yes, I will make us enchiladas. I know that's your favorite, but I'm more than just that, you know. I can cook other food. I am half Latino, you know. I can make other food besides enchiladas. <laughs> okay, fine. You can come help me, though. Besides, I've missed you so much, I, I want you by my side. Uh, yeah. You, can you get the meat for me? I'm gonna have to chop that up. Probably should have gotten ground meat, but eh, it's fine. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna ask about your new job, even though you kind of seemed irritated at it, but, uh, besides uh, the customers, how is it? How is it? Good? Oh, that's good. Oh, you like your boss, huh? I'm glad. I, it's good to have a nice boss when you're working with something like that, especially in a waitress. Co-workers are cool? God, awesome. Maybe I can meet them sometime. I would like to meet your boss, at least. I don't know, I just feel like I want to. I want them to know that you're mine, at least. Just in case he tries anything. Or any of your co-workers try anything, I want to make sure that they, uh, know. The ring sure will give me, uh, give that away, but still. It's good to have a face to go along with that. All right, honey. Could you do me a favor and chop up some, uh, veggies real quick? Oh, and could you, uh, also prepare the sauce? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's not choppy, and you're kind of just hovering over me. Did you need something, honey? Hmm? A kiss? <laughs> I just gave you a kiss, though. All right, you can have another one. <laughs> you're so cute. Love you so much. Get back to work, will ya? I'm sorry, I haven't done that in so long. Besides, you got such a cute little ass. I mean, <laughs> kind of hard to resist not to slap it. <laughs> I won't do it again, though. Well, at least uh, I'll save it for the bedroom. Hmm? Me and more. <laughs> uh, all right, now that all that's done, all I gotta do is uh, put it in the oven for a bit. I'll set a timer. Did you, uh, need some to drink? I'm pretty sure uh, there's some lemonade in here from when I made it last. You drank it all? Damn, I made like a week's worth. What? Have you been thirsting that much? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, I mean, I know you thirst over other people. I guess I shouldn't call them people. I mean, characters, I should say. Wait, what? Not just characters? Who are you thirsting over? You big simp. If anything, I'm a simp for you. And that's that. Who are you simping for? Oh, you were kidding, huh? No real people? Only fictional men for you. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna take your word for it. You're such a big simp, though, for fictional characters. It's a little scary. <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, yeah, some characters are kind of hot. But, like, to actually simp over them... I saw your history on the computer. You read in fanfics about certain characters. Shame, shame. <laughs> I know I'm teasing. I don't care. You do you. 
As long as they ain't real, they don't have a chance of stealing you from me, so I don't care. No, I actually don't find many fictional characters attractive. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I guess Catwoman's pretty attractive. Black Widow is. Oh, oh, can't forget Tony Stark. That's a man. But, uh, other than that, eh, not really, uh, much characters. The only person I find attractive is you, Mia Moore. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just fun to tease you. And besides, I haven't done it in so long. Give me a break. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you tease me too. But it's more fun if I tease you first. Because then you are too shy to tease me, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I should probably text Kaminari that I'm back. He said that he wanted to play some video games with uh, him and his girlfriend with us. Yeah, like a double date type scenario. I don't know what game. We're probably going to have a Smash Bros. tournament, though. Or Mario Kart. <laughs> or we all just, might just all chill on Minecraft. We'll find out. I gotta text him, though. Yeah. Yeah, I know what happened. Uh, I was a away when that happened, unfortunately. I left you all by yourself, too. I... I was so half tempted just to say screw this job and get back to you just in case uh, that villain kidnapped you too. I'm glad everyone's okay though, but that was one hell of a scare. And to think I left you alone during that. I mean, I know I called you, but still, I don't. I wasn't really keen on leaving you alone. Oh, it's okay. Uh, Midoriya did check up on you, though, a couple times, didn't he? I asked him to. He did? <laughs> cool. Good, good. Midoriya's always been a very good person. Kind, too. But you know that. You were in the class with us. Yeah. And he also has a wife now. Yeah, they're married. I didn't know they were married, either. I think they did it on a whim, though. Like, it was just like, hey, let's get eloped. That's kind of what they did. Did you want to do that, though, with us? No, of course. You want a wedding, don't you? I mean, I do, too. I want to show you off to everybody. I'm going to make sure you get the biggest dress possible. Maybe not literally, but I'll get you a nice dress. I'll pay for it. I don't even have to see it. I'll just pay for it. Well, yeah, you're going to use my credit card. When you go card shop, when you go dress shopping, I am making sure you bring my credit card. I want you to... Well, I want to buy it for you, even if I'm not there. All right. <sighs> There's still time for that, but I'm sure I'll, you'll forget. And I'll sneak my card in, and you won't even know. Or I'll give it to someone you bring. You're going to bring Mina, I know that for sure. I'll probably give, you, I'll probably give it to her, and uh, she'll use it. Because that's how smart I am. <laughs> oh, hey. Timer's done. Sweet. I'm starving. Oh, good thing we made four of these. I might have a second one. So are they good? Nice. I'm glad I haven't lost my cooking touch. <laughs> well, I guess I've always been good at cooking. Even in UA in the dorms. I would make everyone breakfast on the occasion. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did help me a couple times, didn't you? <sighs> that was fun doing that. Oh, I actually also made some of the snacks for the um, prom for our third year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just didn't really care to tell anyone. I don't know. It wasn't that big of a deal. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Were they that bomb, though? Were they really that bomb, though, honey? <laughs> You're so cute. All right, all right, all right. Um, what other cute, cool memories? Oh, <laughs> do you remember when Bakugo passed out at the UA dance? And we all drew on his face. I'm pretty sure Kirishima took a picture with him. I think I still have that picture. I don't know if you were in it, though. I think you were off with Mina and uh, the girls. Oh, yeah! The girls dragged you off because uh, they wanted some details about our relationship. 
Oh, Mia told me exactly what kind of details. And you know what kind of details. Did you tell them, actually? Because if not, I told Mina. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she told everybody else. Oh, you did? Well, what'd you say about me, huh? You say how I'm, I'm an absolute god in uh, the bedroom? Hmm? <laughs> teasing, teasing. <sighs> I didn't actually say anything to her. I got embarrassed, and, well, I figured you would. You're an open book. I know that's what you girls do, so. <laughs> I'm not mad. It's funny. Mina's like that. She loves to hear details about all that, because she cares about all of us. Ugh, you know, I said I was going to get a second one. I'm pretty full, though. Yeah, you are, too. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little too big, I think. Eh, whatever. My eyes are bigger than my stomach all the time. I'll do the dishes. Uh, why don't you get cozy and put on a movie for us? Yeah, I'm sure. Mm. Uh, hey, you. So, uh, what movie did you put on? Horror movie? Oh, okay, okay. You feeling dangerous tonight? Okay. Well, just remember, your uh, man's here to protect you, all right? <laughs> your fiancé, actually. Oh, I know, I know. Let's go ahead and watch this movie. Cuddle up real nice and <laughs> let the show begin. <laughs> 